YouTube. We're back again with Let's Do a Walkthrough with Nate, Carl, and Joe. Uh, today we got a really cool little uh, RV. It's not little at all. It's actually quite the opposite. This thing is a Montana fifth wheel legacy. So this is high end, top end, has all the bells and whistles you need. Stick around and we'll go through it. Actually, uh, on the smaller side of the fifth wheels, this is a 37 foot uh, roundabout. I'll have to verify that. It'll be in the notes. Uh, so, yeah, as you see, it has the full body paint, which is absolutely brilliant, beautiful, love it. Uh, it's Montana Legacy. So, uh, let's take a quick walk through. The outside, uh, this is generator prep. So, you get a 5500 LP, uh, it will go right into here. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yep, so, um, and then over here you got your dual batteries. I'll have to check out what kind of batteries. It's uh, whatever Camping World put in it, actually, because they sold this unit. The guy's already uh, trading in and trading up. He wants to drive it. So that's why we have it. Uh, and then you got your hydraulic system that's all very fancy. And, uh, yeah, those are the lines for it. So it pumps the hydraulic fluid out of the reservoir here into the hydraulic lines. And it's all monitored by a little computer system made by Lippert. Uh, <laughs> Good old classic Lippert. Uh, Lippert, they're on everything, man. Man, that uh, is clean. Yeah, it's, it's like practically brand new. Practically brand new. Oh he, he only bought it six months ago. He's been camping in it like two or three times. Wow. Um, it's just, uh, he's an older gentleman and, and towing this thing with his truck, he just doesn't feel comfortable. Yeah, so that's legit. He, um, yeah. Which I understand, it's a little nerve wracking towing these big things sometimes, unless you're experienced and you've been doing it for a while. So, <coughs> him and his wife are, uh, yeah, going with the, the Class A. I don't know which one, but, yeah. Yeah, so, no, no, super good. Uh, over here is where your liquid control is for, for your jacks. Um, let's see how much thing this way. Unloaded gross vehicle uh, is 16,000 pounds. Golly. Yeah, that's actually smaller or lighter. Um, big country we have around 18,000 pounds. Big country. So, um, yep, so in here you got your propane, you got one for each side. Uh, these are 32 liters uh, or 71 pounds. Uh, I don't know. What is it, four liters equals one gallon? Okay. I think. Is that what it is? That'd be eight gallon tank? Eight gallons is one pound. I don't know if that means in here. I don't think that I don't think that translates to it. <laughs> it's, uh, water, it's, it's water. Weight, it's uh, water. Master storage. I'll show you that on the other side. So you got a 10 gallon uh, water heater. Um, this uh, looks to be your electric outlet, and it has an auto retract for your for your power cord, which is super cool. You got your big old furnace. Um, oh, uh, it comes with side view cameras. Yeah, if you want to get a shot of that. Uh, and with that, it also has the backup cameras too. So uh, the screens are in the inside and we'll, I'll show you that when we get in there. Uh, you got a vent for your portable tank, which is not that interesting. Uh, you got a nice ladder. There's your Furion backup camera. Um, just the back end of this thing looks really cool and the paint scheme is really nice. Yeah, it's not like the... It's a little Fast and Furious, but it's classy. You know what I mean? The Fast and Furious, like uh, vinyl <laughs> stickers. But classy and Furious. You can see it on the Thor Ace. Um, the RV industry just has done that for forever. I don't know. But uh, this is well thought out, and this is actual paint. So uh, uh, a real paint artist did this. Wasn't manufactured in a computer that I'm aware of. Maybe they came up with the design in the computer and then the artist painted it. I don't know. But uh, it also has dual awnings. So it, it has one awning up here and one awning up there. It also comes with uh, slide toppers, which is really nice. I'm a huge advocate for it. It keeps stuff off your slide. It extends the life of your slide so you have less uh, water intrusion and less problems over, over the long period. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, this is Four Seasons too. You can see it's a Legacy Edition, uh, and it is equipped with a, a solar panel up there. So, 
Uh, you got some outdoor outlets for outdoor entertainment. Uh, and boom. So uh, here's your access to your uh, uh, your vacuum. Uh, then you got a GFI, and then uh, this is all set up for uh, putting a TV. And then the I Command, uh, I think it's a free prep for like completely off the grid. Is that uh, what all this is? Yeah. Actually, we'll we'll test this out ourselves. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Uh, so maybe not fully off the grid, but. Uh, this is the control panel for, oh, the, the I command, the, the touch screen operations for everything. So, yeah, that's what that's for. That's a cool little access panel. That's a good shot too is that aluminum frame construction. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, and then you got your uh, magnum inverter with your Victron controller over there. Uh, is that a Victron solar controller? <laughs> this thing does really have everything. Look at that. Wow. Cool. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Uh, and then they put little things up here so you can uh, put latch tools or something. Neat. Yeah. Wow. I haven't seen this. No. And also, the storage bay has a little lock right here too, which makes things a little easier oh, when putting this up. How convenient. This is nice. It is. Um, so here's your central back. You just pull that up, and when it's plugged into power, you just sweep it in there actually. Uh, it does have an attachment for a vacuum cleaner, so you can vacuum things as well, but this is also a vacuum, so you just sweep your dust and all that stuff in there. Uh, so you don't need a dustpan. I like that they put it right next to the door too. That's where all this stuff collects. Um, so we'll get some lights on. Don't see my pin. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's just the generic pin that that uh, the in command, I command, whatever puts on there. Good things. Uh, exterior lights, security lights. Cool. Uh, yeah. So here's your backup camera monitor. Uh, it also has the uh, TST pressure monitor for your tires. Uh, so it has monitors for everything. Uh, there you go. It has dual ACs. So you got a uh, Coleman, fancy Coleman back here, and you got one in the bedroom. Wow, that is a really fancy setup there. Yeah, right? Wow. That's not your, that's not your grandpa's, maybe it is your grandpa's. Uh, AC unit. When I was growing up, I just referenced my grandpa had an old uh, Pace Arrow. Uh, a lot of memories in that thing, but it was from the early 90s. He stopped camping about 15, 20 years ago. Anywho, uh, times were different back then. But this uh, this fifth wheel is absolute luxury. Uh, if you just look at all the trim, the cool accent light, the solid surface countertops, you got. Oh yeah, always forget, you need to be plugged into power for the, for the other ones. But, you got extra oh, nice. outlets here and on the other side. You got a three burner stove with a, pretty much a full size oven. You got your residential refrigerator for that inverter. Um, it is GE, GE is a great brand. Uh, little things that they did, like open the closet, light turns on automatically. Wow. Yeah, it's got a little motion light. Um, let me see, is this the, no, uh, okay, so it has some built-in surge protector, here's your inverter for your refrigerator, and then, uh, what is this? I'm guessing just a fan, yeah, that fan up there. Um, all the outlets, GFI protected, this is cool too, JBL has made its way into a lot of brands, higher-end brands. They'll put the JBL speakers in it, which is wonderful. And then you got a little heat pump uh, fireplace. So it is decorative. If you want it to be decorative, it's also a little heat pump if you want it to be heat pump. 
Um, also, uh, I believe this is, yeah, the trifold sofa. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to pull it out. Um, it does work great. It's very comfortable. Plus, it is very comfortable. Right? Oh, I'm, um, sitting, in the, I'm sitting in the same, yeah. same, same, same material. Yep. Uh, does this have a massage feature or just the recline? I don't know what this little H with the circle around it is. I mean, that might be heat. Is that on? Yeah. No, uh, oh, it needs to be plugged in. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we just have. Uh, uh, well, it does, does look like there's many features on it. There's a generator running, but that's for the RV next door. Okay. Uh, we're just yes. running off of battery and solar right now. I can tell you that it's comfortable. Yeah. Uh, it's very comfortable. So you got these deep well sinks uh, with the sprayer nozzle. Which is nice. That's a big sink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a double basin. Double basin. I like the word. I need to expand my vocabulary. Double basin. Double basin. Um, let's see. Uh, so you got the speakers and uh, whatever throughout. Um, yeah, what's that? Oh, you got the wind guard gateway. Uh, so that's a Wi Fi extender booster. Uh, which is nice. And then uh, these actually aren't speakers. These are ducted AC vents. These are fancy. Pantry in here. Yep. That's <laughs> a lot of rice aroni. It is a lot of rice aroni. I mean, I like rice aroni. It's San Francisco. It's just meat. Just uh, meat. Cool. Oh, you got a JBL speaker right above the porcelain toilet. <laughs> wow, now that. Wow. <laughs> You can just sit on your porcelain throne and listen to your tunes and surf your social media. All at the same time? All at the same time. Dude, this, this is thing so nice. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, extra storage, I would assume probably for towels. Um, I like that little uh, sink. It's kind of cool. Very modern. Very... Um, Art Deco? Yep. Very Pinterest. <laughs> okay. okay. I see what you did there. I, I don't know if that actually turns. Uh, I'm watching the playback. Oops. Yeah. It's okay. I feel like every time you turn around, there's like something new that you find. Yeah. Like, but it's cool. Probably. Uh, I like that they put the little pocket doors on here. Saves you a ton of space, especially in the hallways. Just button that back up. And then back here, take a look. All right, so and this mattress is cool. You got a soft side and a firm side. Nice. And it's a king size to just lift up. Plus plenty of storage. Wow. Hey, there's your vacuum cleaner. Ooh. This yep. thing is super fancy. Yep. Yeah, so you got the TV nice. up here, which is great. Uh, a little uh, dresser behind you is a nice good size closet. Um, I like the shelves that they put over top for the bed, cell phone holders with the USB outlets right there and the little reading lights too. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, you got your extra chairs for your dinette down there and uh, that and or you can clear that out and put a washer and dryer in there. So it's already prepped for that. But yeah. Uh, this thing's a killer price, uh, pretty much brand new. So you're you're buying a brand new unit at used value. Uh, so I would hop on this as soon as possible uh, if this is something you're interested in. My name's Nate, you got Mr. Carl behind the camera. You got Mr. Joe, the taco king over here. <laughs> we are Paradise RV. Check out all of our inventory at rvparadise.com. Thanks so much.